lesson two in footwork guys so welcome back uh, we're going to go slightly more into harder footwork now slightly more complicated footwork uh, but again it's pretty easy i'll try and lay it out nice and nice and slow uh, and then just get practicing guys is the most important thing that's all i can really recommend the more we practice the better we'll get so now what we're going to do guys we're going to look at what we did last session which is the bouncing forwards and backwards side to side depending on which direction we want to be taking, okay? And also with our, just our gentle bounce, we can circle around, okay? We can do all of this in a nice small space. So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna look at the pivot, okay? So we've got our shuffle forward, so quite a nice option we can do. We can shuffle forwards here, we can shuffle backwards. Now, for a pivot, what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna turn our lead foot. As we turn that lead foot we're at 90 degrees, or 40, we're gonna, Bring that back leg through, okay? So again, let me just show you, we're gonna pivot here on this foot. So now my foot is going off in this direction where my body is still facing forwards. My back leg steps through. Now, it does work on the other side, but it's harder to do so, yeah? So if I'm in southpaw, it'd be the same. I'd pivot on the front foot, step through on the back foot. We generally use this more than we do the opposite pivot. So to do the opposite pivot, easy to step, pivot and then bring that foot round. Slightly harder, slightly more complicated to do and there's better options for that, okay? So again, we're moving around here, we're bouncing on the spot. We can come forwards, pivot and step through. Now we're facing this way. We can move forwards, pivot and step through. Same thing again here, we can come forwards, pivot and step through, guys. Always looking nice, keeping that posture good looking with those eyes as much as we can. Now we can do it the other way as well, so we can move backwards, pivot and come through. So if someone's throwing an attack towards us, we're moving away from the attack, they throw a second, we can pivot and get ourselves out off the line. So really important in kickboxing guys is this idea of a line, okay? Here's my center line coming straight out. Anything in this realm here, you're on my line. So by pivoting here guys, this is my line, if I pivot, I've now come away from my partner's line, okay? This is why we use the pivot. So let's look at it again. So we're shuffling forwards and backwards here, shuffling side to side, forwards and back, side to side here, pivot, step through, okay? So again, shuffle forwards, pivot, and step through. Shuffle forwards, pivot, step through, shuffle forwards, shuffle backwards, pivot, and step through. Again, we can do this, guys, in a meter square, probably, Maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less even. So, back to it again. Just make sure here guys, ball to the foot, turn, step through. As Ideally, as you pivot, you step through to get that nice and tight guys, okay? That's our pivot. One more, one more for today is just in the, in the boxing, they'll just call it a step or a step off. Uh, same for kickboxing. If you're doing savat, which is uh, the French kickboxing which we do at Namiang, it's called a décollage. Yeah, so a décollage is a single leg displacement. Yeah, stepping through, stepping through. Okay, so we can use this as well. Let's say we've moved, we've shuffled forwards. We can take a step to the side and back. We shuffle backwards, take a single step and come back. Okay, so again, one more time, nice and easy. We can shuffle forwards. Pivot, shuffle through, shuffle forwards, single step and come back. Single step and come back. Now there's several options of how you do that single step. You can cut a diagonal step, which is most similar to the savat, the décollage, because you're now cutting this base and giving yourself a nice shot for your partner here. You can do a side one just straight out of the way here, more as a defensive technique. You can even step backwards with this diagonal cut, guys. One, two, three yeah so they would use this more like a back stance maybe for a traditional style so looking at all the footwork now we've got shuffling forwards and backwards shuffling to the side circling round in one in one spot with our bounce we've now also got our pivot so we turn step through pivot turn step through pivot turn step through like so and the last one now we've got our single leg displacement or our single leg step guys okay so it's a step so let's say for example I'm going to use it I can throw my jab I can step off the line boom there's my uppercut or I can step off the line here there's my cross okay 
Works the same the other side, I can throw a jab, step here for a body shot here, come back, jab, step in, throw the hook from the head, okay? Obviously, if you've got someone in front of you, it makes it slightly easier to do so. If we don't have anyone there, guys, look, I've just got a metal pole here. Like that can be my partner. There's my jab, there's my step, there's my body, there's my shots, yeah? Jab, there's my step, here's my shots. I can do the same with the pivot. One, two, pivot, step through, yeah? You can use anything you like, really. Could just even be something on the floor. Could just put something as simple as a piece of cardboard on the floor. That's what I've got to get past. One, two, step to the side, body shot, head shot, something like this. Jab, move off to the other side, body, head, something like this, guys. Again, basic footwork. We'll do a little bit more on the next video. Keep training, guys. Keep safe. Miss you all.